overworked, underpaid, caring for the young and old in private homes. Today, already vulnerable migrant care workers, now under pressure in a pandemic, spoke out. I was working from 7.30 in the morning to 7 p.m. and watching the kids, but I keep being paid same as before. I was exhausted. It feels very sad. This woman shared what happened with her last employer with advocacy groups. From July to September, they carried out a small survey. About 200 of Canada's 25,000 workers responded. Mostly racialized women filled out a survey sharing their experiences of abuse, exploitation, fear and stress. They did so by text, social media and emails. Advocates were troubled by what they heard. Employers are also refusing to let workers leave the homes because of COVID-19. Now it's calling for the government to protect these workers, including making them permanent residents now. Harpreet Kaur says she applied late last year and is still waiting. Meanwhile, her work permit will soon expire. That is why I'm scary right now. When my work permit expire, my health card will also expire. This academic says there's a power imbalance between employers and migrant workers. That can only be fixed by giving permanent resident status to essential workers. And this means workers in all sorts of industries and employment environments. The government says it's committed to fixing some unacceptable gaps brought to light by the pandemic, saying that includes considering new pathways to permanent residents. Magda Gebrasalasa, CBC News, Toronto.